Hello everyone, uh, this video shows you how to use uh, NetBeans IDE for our Java program. Uh, this video covers only on how to create, save, compile and execute Java programs. Uh, please make sure that you have installed JDK in your computers. Okay, and this is the view of uh, NetBeans. I'm using NetBeans uh, 8.2. If you are using a different version, I guess the screen will be slightly different. And I'm running this uh, NetBean on Windows. If you're running uh, the programs uh, on Mac, uh, my guess the screen will be slightly different only. Okay, let's begin. First, we have to create a project. How to create a project? Okay, please click. You have you click file. Then you can see new project here, or you can uh, use your keyboard, uh, shortcut keyboard, control, shift N, or you may use this uh, shortcut icon here. Alright, uh, looks like a folder here. Then click job. you have to choose the project, uh, choose the category, which is Java, and then the project, we are going to do a Java application. You click here, and then click next. Okay, now we have to name our um, folder or our project uh, name and location. So please remember, the project is actually representing a folder in your computer. So project name is actually your folder name. So for example, I want to uh, name my project or my folder as testing. Okay, now... You have to choose the location where you want to save this folder at. Okay. Um, you can click browse to point to where you want to save. You want to save at the desktop or you want to save directly in your pen drive also can. No problem. Okay. So for me, I want to save in my D under this folder. Okay. Alright. You can see under project folder. It's the same testing with the project name here. Then, next, please untick this create main class. Untick it. Okay, why we have to untick this? Because we want to run all our file as a, uh, run all our Java program as a file, not as one project. Okay, so you have to untick this uh, option here. Next, we click finish. Alright, once you're done, you can see there, there will be an icon of uh, like a cup of coffee here and your folder will be created, a project will be created. You can see here it says testing. Now, under this testing uh, folder, you will have another two more uh, like a subfolder here. One is uh, source packages, another one is library. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, for my, uh, in my PC, I have uh, created uh, two folders before, two projects before. So that's why you can see three folders here, three projects here. So if you are first time using it, so you will see only one uh, project, one folder. Okay, so please remember uh, uh, which file or which folder you want to. Um, use okay all right next one we're going to create a file a java file so make sure you are at the right folder okay make sure you click here now we want to create a file how to create a file click file then new file or you can uh, use control n or the icon is this one new file so click new file you have to you you have to choose the file type. So here, if let's say you click wrongly also, uh, you wrong you click wrongly here should be no problem. You may choose again your project here. Remember the project is a folder. So make sure you choose the right folder. Now after that you choose the category. Of course it's Java. Okay, if you choose different category, the file type will be different. So click, make sure you click uh, Java categories and then 
uh, this is the other type. Now, for the first time, I want you to choose empty Java file because normally we are going to uh, type the code, right? So, click empty Java file. Then, click next. Now, this is the class name. Alright, what we're going to write here. The class name here is your file name. Okay, remember class, in the first class, I have uh, mentioned to you that the first thumb rules that we have to remember is the class name should be the same name with the file name. Or the file name should be the same name with the class name. Now, I have wrote a, a, a simple program and my class name is sample here. So, I will use sample. Okay, we don't have to type .java because uh, we have set the file type already so you can see here it's already been um, saved as a dot java okay now finish click finish okay now you can see this is our place uh, to type our code here and as you can see the sample.java it's under testing now how you want to know whether you are in the right um, uh, path or not you your program should be under default package under source packages okay so there is a start page here if you want to close you can close it so this is our sample.java it's empty Okay, now we are going to uh, type our program. So, I have um, prepared the program before. So, I just want to cut the time. So, I'm going to paste it here. So, as you can see, remember, when you create a file, it should be the same name with the class name. So, my class name is sample. So, your uh, file name should be sample also. Okay, so let's say our uh, code is ready. Okay, uh, you can see uh, this is the good thing of using IDE. Uh, it's uh, been written properly with uh, lines, number, and with uh, colors here. Alright, now, so first uh, save uh, the file. You may just simply click this icon or Control S or File, Save. Okay, next step after save, we want to compile, okay, uh, to compile the file. Remember, we learned in the class the three steps. First, create the file, then compile, then run the program. Now, we can compile the file uh, by clicking on run, and then you can see there is a F6 here. But uh, for Java, for uh, NetBean, when you save the file, it's already been compiled. So if it, there's no error here, so means that your file, your program is ready to be run. You understand? So means that it's uh, safe, it's actually compiled already. Okay, now we can uh, move, you can uh, proceed to next step, which is to run. Okay, how to run? Click run here, and then you can see run file. Okay, um, uh, or the shortcut is shift F6. So, I would like to suggest you to uh, practice to use uh, the shortcut key, Shift F6. So, run and then if there's no problem, you can see the output um, at the bottom here. So, it's um, successful. Now, let's say we want to add more statement here. Okay, I want to add another one. Jom. Okay. Once you add a new thing, what you have to do is make sure you save. Okay. Remember, if you keep on run, it will run the previous program. So make sure you save. Control S. All right. And then remember, Control S is already compiled. So what you have to do is simply run. How to run? Again, run, run file or Shift F6. So you can see here. It run the output display back what you have been you what you have wrote in your 
program here. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Thank you.